When I was a kid, I was told that when you read books, they expand your imagination. So today, what I want to talk about for my student athletes, I want to give you seven books that ultimately will really be able to take you places. Man, I don't want to waste no time. I'm excited about these seven books. Let's go ahead and get into the episode. Welcome to Beyond the Ball Podcast. What's going on, family? What's going on, family? Welcome to Beyond the Ball. And here we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. All right. And today I'm excited to talk about books, right? I did an episode a little while ago talking about um, like five different ways that you can develop yourself holistically as a student athlete. And you can click that link just down there and uh, watch the video. But today we're going to talk about seven books to help you really cultivate and really hone in on growing and being just the best version of yourself. And this is on many fronts. And we're going to break that down a little bit more as we dive in. So the first book I want to talk about was uh, this book right here. It's called The One Thing. The One Thing, right? And it's, enti it's titled The One Thing, The Surprisingly Simple Truth Behind Extraordinary Results. It's by Gary Keller, right? And the thing I like about this book is that it really breaks down and challenges you to do the one thing, right? Do the one thing that you're best at, really drilling down and focusing on doing exactly what you need to be doing at that particular time. And from that, how by you doing this one thing, it makes everything else so much more simple. Shout out to Gary Keller in The One Thing, right? And I want to talk about The One Thing because I wasn't sure of the progress I was making in my own personal business. But then I was reading The One Thing with this accountability group that I'm a part of for entrepreneurs. And then the more I began to read it, the more I began to understand that I've been dividing and splitting my interest and my time and my energy and it wasn't self it wasn't serving me well so shout out to Gary Keller with with the one thing because that really helped me help me really hone in my focus help me really get clear on some things and now we're moving full speed ahead I might need to reread it because it was a solid book um the next book I want to recommend is as we're coming into this space of NIL and more student athletes are in a spot to where they either want to take advantage of NIL, they don't know where to start, or they're even advanced in terms of what they're doing for their particular brand through NIL. I would advise you to go right here. And this is, this is a book that I wrote and it's called Get Paid With Podcasting get paid with podcasting and i want you to take advantage of this book because you have a true opportunity where you are as a student athlete right now let me just read i'm just gonna read out the book really quick i just want to read really quick a part out of the book and the biggest thing that i want to talk about with the with get paid with podcasting is right here where we talk about how it goes i thought whoa whoa wait a minute let me scale it back right and i was doing two episodes a week for two years and i did 271 episodes and then i actually stopped doing the podcast and the reason why was because i did it wrong i was doing it wrong i wasn't clear on what i wanted the podcast to do for me I wasn't clear on how the podcast was going to benefit my business, so I stopped doing it. And then I started this show that you're listening to right now called Beyond the Ball with Jonathan Jones because I got a clear plan. And in this book, I give you a clear plan on how to start a podcast, how to launch a podcast, how to grow a podcast, how to monetize a podcast. I would suggest that you take full advantage of this right here. OK, I'm going to put the link just down below for all these books um, so that y'all can take advantage if you desire. But right here, 
get paid with podcasting simplifying the game for you so you don't quit like i did or many other student athletes and other individuals across the country are doing they're starting a podcast they're quitting after six episodes seven episodes because they didn't have a clear plan but my friend this this is the blueprint for you all right all right so that's book number two all right that's book number two number three is youtube secrets youtube secrets the updated second edition the ultimate guide to growing your following and making money as a video influencer youtube secrets i have this physical book and i have the audio book and the reason why is i'm really looking to grow and expand my youtube channel in 2023 all right and i know that you can do the same thing you have more leverage than i do you have more authority than i do you can put a video out and you'll get more traction if you just share it with some of your teammates some of the staff some of the coaches around you i'm an entrepreneur i'm solo i'm not a part of nobody's team i'm part of my team which is me and maybe a couple other people right so YouTube secrets, I would suggest if you're somebody who's looking to start a YouTube channel or even you want to grow your YouTube channel, this is a book that's going to benefit you, especially in the realm of NIL. But one of the things that I've realized is a major challenge that has plagued many people and me as well is that if we don't learn how to think bigger right i said earlier before we started the episode that when you read books they expand your imagination but when you have coaching and you have mentors and you have people who have shown you that they've gone before you and done it before they've been successful doing what you desire to do they've been successful in areas that you want to go and doing things that you want to achieve it's because they understood to be the one to do it first they understood being the role model and that's what i want to share with you all in this next book this is a classic for me i heard the audio book i had to buy the physical book because i said i need this book i need to mark it up this is the best self-development personal development book i have ever read in my life in terms of tangible hands-on applicable strategies it's called the magic of thinking big the magic of thinking big Acquire the secrets of success, achieve everything you've always wanted, personal property, financial security, power and influence, like they cover everything. And this is by David J. Schwartz. It hasn't sold more than 4 million copies on accident, all right? In this book, they give a breakdown of how to think like a leader how to make your attitude your allies, how to manage your environment. Like these are all tools that I've taught and I break down. But in this book, he does a great job of making it easy to digest and very applicable in your life. Magic of thinking big for book number four. And then as you're in the space where you're at right now, a lot of times I know you're pressed for time. A lot of times you're in a space where you're like, John, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to do that. I don't have time to think about this. That's why we come to book number five. All right. Book number five is who, not how. This is the formula to achieve bigger goals, not through a, who, not how. The formula to achieve bigger goals through accelerating teamwork by Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy. This book really broken down helps you understand how to delegate appropriately right so how to get other people to do things that you don't want to do but they're very skilled at doing and then how to go about that process and share that with them who not how i would recommend this book for staff as well as student athletes who not how great book amazing read now we're down to one uh, another one of my favorites when I read this book, it challenged me as a young man. It I, I read this book when I was single, but I was wanting to get married. Now I've been married for three years, but I was wanting to get married. And God was really showing me that I need to put some stuff in place, man, that I was lacking. And then I had some areas 
that needed to be tend to. Then I read Kingdom Man by Dr. Tony Evans. For my young ladies out there, there's Kingdom Woman, okay? But for my young mans, for my brothers, Kingdom Man is such a powerful book. It challenged you as a man. One of the lines that really stuck out to me in this book was how Dr. Tony Evans talked about how we can advocate and we can cheer so loudly for other teams. We can wear another name, another man's name on our backs and cheer and yell for them. But he talked about how are we focusing on cheering for ourselves? How are we focusing on positioning ourselves appropriately and adequately? Kingdom Man by Dr. Tony Evans. Man, this book is great for any man, any man that's looking to further their relationship with Christ, which ultimately furthers your life far better than anything else. One of the best investments in your life is a relationship with Christ. And in Kingdom Man, he talks about how can you lead your home, your wife, your kids, if you don't understand what that looks like. And that starts with having a relationship with Christ. And then last but not least, um, just going a little bit deeper, talked a little bit about YouTube earlier. Here's another YouTube book, The YouTube Formula, How Anyone Can Unlock the Algorithm to Drive Views, Build an Audience, and Grow Revenue. The YouTube Formula is another YouTube book. And like I told you, I'm serious about growing my YouTube this year in 2023. So that's why I had a couple of YouTube books. But I'm going to do a quick recap just so that everybody who might have caught the uh, video or might have missed some of the insight, I'm going to recap the books really quick. So number seven was The YouTube Formula by Daryl Eves, right? YouTube Formula by Daryl Eves. Then we talked about furthering relationship with God and learning how to lead like a man, like a kingdom man should, which is a man of God. Dr. Tony Evans, kingdom man. Then we talked about who, not how. Showing you how to delegate the way that it needs to be done. Then expanding your mind, the magic of thinking big. The magic of thinking big right there by Dr. David Schwartz. YouTube Secrets, the second edition by Sean Cannell and Benny Tra Benji Travis. Getting that YouTube going strong. Got Get Paid with Podcasting. Showing you how to leverage a podcast so that you can monetize it and build the authority for the topic that you choose. And then last but not least on the recap is the one thing, showing you. And then the one thing by uh, Gary Keller, where uh, he says the quote, what's the one thing, what's the one thing I can do by doing such, it will make everything else easier or unnecessary that's the one thing we're gonna have the links for all these books just down below in the show notes um this was beyond the ball with jonathan jones where we help you succeed beyond your degree comment down below what books you like comment down below what books what other books you're reading to develop yourself so that we can grow together i can get some ideas from you hopefully you can get some from me but here we help you succeed beyond your degree Till next time, peace. God bless.